Okay. Wait, there are Silvermane guards here. Careful not to alert them. You must have entered from another direction to cut us off. We should avoid an open conflict. Let's find another path. See why Honkai can afford to have the fancy button first and or also animation, whatever you want to call it. You can fight it's as it if it's time sensitive. It. Expected to find this here. Favorite part of a Hoyoverse game. Wow, good stuff. I'm about to fucking make this game into a relic if it keeps on making it. Can't stop artifacts. Fighting is meaningless. Though I guess a relic is a relatively treasured thing, so.
The best is yet to come. I'm gonna go get a snack real quick. I'll be right back. I didn't hear you. suffered fragmentum corrosion. This is still part of Bellabog. It was our home. The guards know this place like the back of their hand. Enough, cat and mouse. Drop your weapons and come with me. Oh, you're such a nuisance. Just what crime are we supposed to have committed again? It better be worth you following us all the way out here. My orders are to arrest you. It is for the adjudication panel to present you with the nature and penalty of your alleged crimes. You saw us yesterday. Do you remember? Madame Cocolia received us as honored guests. How can such a drastic change have occurred in the course of one night? The Madame Guardian investigated your backgrounds. She summoned me last night to tell me that you had deceived her. Your identities and purpose here are counterfeit. You seek to overthrow the rule of the architects. Huh, what a two-faced hag! Publicly insulting the Supreme Guardian only elevates the seriousness of your crimes. Throw down your arms and surrender. We're wasting our words, March. At least one thing is clear. We mustn't be caught. Oh, well, if there's no escape... Then maybe it's time we gave them a taste of Astral Express medicine! Fighting is meaningless. The Sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Let's rock! Bronya. Hmm. I'll handle these evil doers. Myself. <laughs> Onward. Move carefully. Let's rock. 
that man's holding on. Watch this! Uh, Back off. Ready to lose yourself? Fight it or rock with it. My music. Conquer us all! Just for you. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Take this! <sighs> you have the worst luck running the into me. The truth of life and death with this sanctuary is but a vision. Pretty good crowd today. Turn it up. <laughs> Onward. Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it or rock with it. Yeah. Fighting is meaningless. Songs for you. <laughs> Let's go. My turn. pretty strong. Hey, Don Hung, maybe now's a good time to show off your secret strength? <sighs> you first. Uh, you're no fun. Intruders, give it up. You will be guaranteed a fair trial. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to ruin the intensity of the moment. One thing to say, Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come to harm. <laughs> I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. They will suffer, sacrifice, and die because of my order. What about the Underworlders? They will lose the protection of the Architects. Oh they will see me as a tyrant. You have witnessed the world we have promised. A tentacle bearing misunderstanding for an eternity. Understand. 
Come on, those toys of yours aren't that dangerous. Uh, then why hasn't she woken up yet? Because she's sound asleep. <laughs> Didn't you hear her sleep talking? Ah, oh, poor child. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Tell me the truth, Sampo. What are you gonna do about the Overworld girl? What am I gonna do about her? Why, wait for the opportunity and send her back, together with the rest of them, of course. I... Hey, come on, what's with the... You're a bad liar, Sampo Koski. What? I didn't mean to bring her along. The smoke was too dense. I was in a daze before I knew it. I'd somehow dragged her down here, too. What are you up to, Sampo? Why do you insist on getting caught up in overworld affairs that have nothing to do with you? If it's a whole lot more attention from wildfire you want, you're going about it the right way. Hey now, Sampo Koski's primary concern is taking care of his friends. These guys scratched my back. How could I live with myself if I didn't scratch theirs? And another thing, where does wildfire get off? Assuming that these fine folks won't come in useful to them, huh? I mean, you never know. Which is why you've set them loose in the underground? Come on, accidents happen. I'll have them rounded up in no time. <sighs> that girl... Get her back as soon as possible, then don't let her out of your sight. The underground has been sealed off for over ten years now. Uh, the children won't even remember what overgrounders look like. If a girl in a silver main guard uniform suddenly shows up, what would Wildfire do with her? What would they do with you? All right. I get it. I'm setting off right now. I'll have to trouble you to look after them while I'm gone, ma'am. Hey, sleepyhead. Looks like you're awake. How are you feeling? Any aches or pains? I bet you were mumbling something about... Stellarons and wishes. I couldn't make sense of it. <sighs> well, now that you're awake, you should probably try moving your limbs. I'm Natasha, a doctor in the underground. You've already spent a day yeah. in my clinic. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> you're very polite. Sampo's gone to clear up a mess of his own making. So I'm looking after you in the meantime. Based on your current state, I don't think there's any cause for alarm. You seem perfectly healthy. So, if you don't mind, I'll go and take a look at the other patients. Oh, please, you needn't worry. You've just been asleep for a while. I barely had to lift a finger. I might have exaggerated your condition for Sampo's years. But that guy owes me. Better bring me back some medicine. They've been up for a while already. The young guy with the dark hair left first. He went with Sampo. Your rowdier friend took off soon after waking up. I imagine she's taking a stroll nearby. As for the girl in the silver main guard uniform, I told Sampo to watch her. But it seems that he left his post and she made a run for it. Sure, but don't push yourself. If you start feeling unwell, come straight back and tell me. And if you run into any trouble, you can try asking for wildfire. It's a grassroots organization. Think of it as the Silver Main Guards of the Underground, but less stone-hearted. <laughs> no need to thank me. It's a doctor's duty to heal. I gotta find March 7th and Dan Hung. But where should I start?
are they about as good as you at Apex? that if I win hide and seek, you'll tell Big Sister March all the ins and outs. Yep, all the ins and outs. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> it just means you'll tell me all the details. No hiding anything and no telling fibs. <laughs> Hook isn't an overgrounder, you know. Hook never tells fibs. Yeah, never. Well, that's settled then. Okay, let's play. Huh? You! Uh, when did you get here? Oh, quit acting like a child. It's like this. After I woke up, that doctor said Sanpo had taken Don Hong with him. I went around in circles trying to find the blue-haired scoundrel and bumped into these kids. They say they know where he is. But they said I had to join the moles or something if I wanted to find out. And to do that, I had to prove my strength by winning a game of hide-and-seek. Do you get it? Yeah. No, I would be the one bullying you. Uh, so what if I am? Why don't you help me, huh? So hey, I have a question. Are you done with your secret talk? The most time is So precious. why is she named after tomorrow's yeah, date? Precious. Okay, okay, Why we're done. Why are named after tomorrow's Pitch dark, date? Click the great. This is my friend. She also wants to join the moles. Can she play too? Um, sure. I guess so. Then you guys are seeking. Okay, so that's how you know Us, she's gonna blow some shit up. They don't seem very smart. Why don't we do a practice one first? Hmm, you're right, Julian. Okay. Let's I'm not pack. familiar I'll with hide. Hong Kai Impact Third, but so I know her shirts are basically us, huh? the Just fucking deities of that. I feel like she's on like it's that simple. level. When you see one of them, you just have to catch them. Wow! It's almost as if I'm suspicious Rocky of her too, and I'm trying to explain. Seems like something you would hide. Ha! Gotcha! Yeah. Looks like you would hide there, Shadow. So what? It's just a practice! Wait until we're playing for real! You'll see! <laughs> Bring it on! Alright! Now we're playing for real! You gotta count to 50 before you open your eyes! No cheating! 47... 48... 49... 50! <laughs> Ready or not, here I come, naughty children. The moles haven't lost a game for ages. <laughs> You're doomed. Got it yet? We're the underground's greatest hiders and seekers. Hmm. I guess. I know. And I just thought of something, too.
<laughs> Don't run. I got Poor you. Poor child, buddy. you mean dumbass child. That motherfucker. I'm the Stupid. boss of the moles. How can I lose to a bunch of villains? Do your worst. I'm not afraid. What are they feeding you kids down here? Clearly not enough brain growing juice. Oh, what the ale? Haha, ha, I caught you. Hm. Doesn't count unless you can answer this question. What? But we caught you. What's with the Q and A? Huh? I thought I had you there. Hmm, something's not right. That guy's been staring at us this whole time. Hide and... Hmm... <whistles> My instincts are telling me something's not right with this guy. But... <laughs> Nonsense! <clears throat> How many eight-year-olds do you see walking around that look like this, huh? All right, the jig is up. Your voice gave it away. But, but I'm Julian of a thousand faces. Why did you have to talk to me? My reputation is ruined. What will the boss think? No need for the melodrama. That was still a magical performance. I... Uh, I'm sorry, boss. I failed. Darn! How did you see through Julian's disguise? What villainy, what villainy is this? Is this? <laughs> <laughs> Those with keen eyes see the dust between the stars. I came up with that, by the way. About time I got some credit for it. So, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. You can tell us now, right? Uh, yes. The boss of the moles is true to her word. Hook saw the blue-haired guy take your dark-haired friend to the fight club. The fight club? You don't talk about it. Is this more secret talk? Uh, Pitch Dark Hook the Great. Where is the fight club? Can you show us the way? Hmm. But it's an obvious building. Grown-ups are just useless. Come with Hook, I'll take you over. Thanks, oh great one. That's Pitch Dark Hook the Great to you. Who said you could shorten my title? A club just for fighting. Who knew undergrounders had such brutal hobbies? Mm -hmm. In fact, it's awesome! They let you take part? When did this place last have an inspection? Loads of kids take part. Ah, despicable. My criminal activity senses are tingling. We're here! This is it! A hook's gonna go fight! See you later! Who's in charge here? How can they just let kids attack each other? The moles are in charge, that's who. Uh, but only the kids. Wildfire's in charge of grown-up business. Um, the moles control everything underground. Ooh, they need one more player there. I, I gotta go. If you ever want to fight, come find me. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you couldn't hear what I just did. Damn. One hundred percent accurate. today's most spectacular, spine-tingling, earth-shattering contest? On one side, recommended by tall, blue, and handsome, the unsmiling, pulverizing power of the new kid on the block, Cold Dragon Young! And his opponent is none other than the unfeeling, incendiary, explosive might of Team Robomatic! All praise to Boss Svarov! Given that no other fighter was willing to take on the strength of Team Robomatic, Cold Dragon Young will face off against these opponents alone! On learning his fate, the brave young fighter had one thing to say. Whatever! And so, let the semifinals of the 1758th Fighting King Challenge Begin! Quick, let's help him! Oh, brothers and sisters! An unexpected turn of events! Two members of the audience have charged into the octagon! It looks like they want to team up with Cold Dragon Young! <laughs> so you're awake. Yeah, the first thing we did was go look for you! And now that we found you, we're trying to make sure you don't get your butt kicked. You're welcome! Brothers and sisters, you can feel their passion! The magnetic pull of this electric sport is undeniable! But let me reiterate, these competitions are for professionals only. Whatever you do, kids, don't try this at home. I'ma try it at home. And Cold Dragon Young is signaling that the contest will go ahead. He's just itching to get into it. And so are we. Christ it's the Iron Fist of up. Cold Dragon Young and friends versus the Iron Skin of Team Robomatic. I can take them on my own, you know. Well, we need to work on your emotional intelligence. No interesting Watch this awesome move! The sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Oh! What a beautiful performance! Cold Dragon Young and his last minute admirers emerge victorious! Admirers? How come we don't get cool nicknames? Ah, <sighs> forget it. I think our taste in nicknames is different. Hey, look! It's Sampo! Let's get after him. I can't have gotten too far. Let's search nearby.
Hey, hey, it's you! I was just thinking to myself, am I getting robbed? Who are these people following me? So, you know, you start to walk a little faster. And anywho, if I had just turned around, I could have thrown open my arms and said a big hi to my old friends. Say that you saw us in there and got scared, so you pulled a runner. Me? Scared? Oh, my friends, what do I have to fear? <laughs> Surely I haven't done anything to offend you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind. If I hadn't made a break for it, Japard would have caught all of us. And do you think he would have given you a chance to explain yourselves? Hmm? He would have checked you straight into the Gray Bar Hotel. Meanwhile, there I was, looking out for you from the shadows. Do you know how difficult it was to make an entrance? They were watching you the whole time. I had no choice but to take you guys down here. It was too dangerous for us on the surface. We're wanted criminals. Sure, the underworld has its drawbacks, but at least the guards would never follow us. We're safe here. Be that as it may. Did you really have to poison us? Maybe you've forgotten, but we were in a tight spot, my friend. There was no time to think. I had to use whatever I could. Hmm. So it wasn't to cover anything up? A secret that you didn't want anyone, including us, to find out? <laughs> it's true. Don Hung, what secret? Well, I'm not certain yet. But there's more to our friend here than meets the eye. You win. I'll help you to the best of my ability, free of charge, I might add. But please, don't go spreading rumors about me. <sighs> All right, to prove my sincerity, I'll introduce you to Wildfire. If you're looking for something down here, they're the ones to ask. Have a little faith. It's like I said. Sampo never lets friends who've helped him come do harm. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go use the bathroom. So, what does Wildfire do all day? Uh, everything. They keep the peace, uphold justice, fight for resources, distribute goods. The sliver of trust they have for me has to do with the last one. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs>
come back. And also, to whoever's in the YouTube chat, ask away. Yes, the dude in the chat just doesn't want to ask the question now. Could be typing, you never know. I mean, fair enough, but. Regardless, we got a job to do. Alright. We gotta find the one last chest. And okay. then we have to go back to the spaceship New because Half price on your rainbow. there's still a warp trotter that I need. Okay. There we go. Good. Oh, we also have these. There's inspiration in every glance and every okay, breeze. So there's only two that we can get right now. Uh, then we right. have to go there. And I guess have to go here. Okay. Uh, okay. We'll check here first. Why not? So that should be everywhere here. Alright. I think there's one on this map that we currently can't get because it's like warded off. <laughs> There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. So we have to find two. I think it's down there that we can't. I think that's where the last one will be. I see.
Okay, so I think that's all the ones we can access right now. Alright. Okay, so hold on, is it... Okay, so there's a warp trotter. And also a warp trotter. So two more treasures, warp trotter, two treasures, one warp trotter. So I'm gonna get rid of all these pings. The calyxes are pretty much ley lines. Ah. We'll go back there in just a second. These targets will make for good practice. This will strengthen our position.
Keep your eyes open for the warp trotter, because I'm not seeing it. Jax? Yeah. Open for warp trotters, kid. All right. Someone there. Oh, there we go. Can't stop the run. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. But a vision! Break! You finally got some leisure time. Don't forget to grab some sleep when you're done wandering about. I feel like his voice actor would be gay. <laughs> Damn. Look, if you're voicing a character that looks like that, you gotta be gay. Shit, Chad, am I right? <laughs> Is he gay? I don't know. I'm asking chat. <laughs> Himeko legit just summons a fucking beam from the sky. It's the Jewish space laser. 
And like, remember, you'll, you'll we're see. all in this together. <laughs> Tread carefully. Oh, you didn't understand my joke. Of course I didn't. What made you think I would? Uh, I am slightly disappointed in you. What did you expect? I don't know. I know you're chronically online, but... I should know that you don't understand my jokes very well. Everyone has a colorful past, wouldn't you say? Oh, did that just say I don't? Anyways, so basically this is Nilu's mom. <laughs> oh, hey, Nilu's mom. Yeah, she's right there. Yeah. Keep your eyes peeled. We need two right. chests and one warp trotter. Alright. Touching the air to open a door. Can't stop the run. I've no interest in. <laughs> you can fight it or rock with it. Yeah. It'll take more than that. <laughs> Missing one more. Oh, there it is.
There's inspiration in every glance and every breeze. Huh. Where's Joshua? What are those shiny rocks? Ah, this is Geomero, an exothermic ore. The underground and the surface are sealed off from one another, right? Well, only the Geo... Most undergrounders are miners, and this is what they mine for a living. You know, if we didn't have Geomero to burn, this world would have frozen to death long ago. All right, let's keep moving. The person I was looking for isn't here. Old Oleg isn't here either? Where is everyone? <laughs> so you're leading us on another wild goose chase? I wouldn't dare! Trust me, we're getting close. <sighs> huh? What's that huge structure in the distance? Oh, that's the furnace core. It's the pillar that connects the underworld and the overworld. People used to travel up and down that thing, but then... Then what? It's a long story. In any case, practically nothing moves up or down anymore. Except you. Oh, come on, my dear fellow. I thought we weren't going to discuss this. I beg you, the fewer rumors there are about me, the better. Zila's usually always out on patrol here at this time. Hey, look! Who is that? It looks like she's in trouble. Uh, my friends, don't just stand there. This drama doesn't need any more bystanders. Oh? You know, it might be interesting to see you get in trouble. <sighs> we should avoid attracting too much attention. But we can't just leave her. Exactly! My boy, Cold Dragon Young. Uh, young Master Dan Hung speaks with reason. All right, princess, let's dispense with the pleasantries. You dare attack someone on our turf? Well, how about a few rounds with me? Huh? <sighs> Darn it! Quick, disperse! Spineless thugs! Miss Zila, phew. It's a good thing you showed up when you did. My heartfelt thanks. These vagrants have got some nerve looking for trouble in wildfire terra. Shut it, Sampo. This is you written all over it. Wildfire has countless issues on its plate right now. We don't need a side order of Koski. I hear a Silvermane like Guard is paying the Underworld a visit. Is that you? You kidnapped me and brought me to the Underground. What is the meaning of this? <laughs> Listen to her. What is the meaning of this? She still thinks she's an overworld princess. I gotta go Do you get know my clothes. Do you what's become of us down here while machine. you live the easy right. life? Did I you gotta go get my clothes the fate the of the Underworlders? Machine. The Silvermane Guards aren't living the easy life. We are constantly engaged with the enemy, defending Bellabog from the scourge of attacking monsters, and protecting all those above and below the surface. Do you even hear yourself? You, 
protect the underground? Redeploying every guard to the surface? Sealing off the only passageway? Protecting the so-called architects, more like it. The Madam Guardian has her reasons. <laughs> Enough talk. You're coming with me. Chief Oleg wants to see you, and he's got more than a few questions. Perfect, Miss Hila. We were just on our way to pay Chief Oleg a visit ourselves. Room for a few more? I'm Fully back. booked. Who are they? What good is your name by itself? Well, it's like this. The Chief's in the market for specific talent. An urgent request, so I'm taking them to see him. We're looking for a Stellaron. It's the source of all the disasters here. If we find it, we can... <laughs> I would recommend you not recite your story to everyone you meet. Miss Hila won't understand it anyway, so let's save it for the Chief, hmm? Huh? You're right. I don't understand it. And I don't plan on passing the message on either. Wildfires encountered trouble at the Great Mine. The Chief's busy. If you really want to find him, come look for me at the mine entrance. I'm leaving. That was fast. Didn't I tell you? Long story short, the underground used to have many mines. However, in recent years, some sort of corrosion called the Fragmentum started to spread. It's ruined a lot of mines. The one we're heading into is relatively unaffected. A bunch of vagrants made it their home after their old turf was consumed by the Fragmentum. Actually, most of them are pretty honest folks. But with such a large group, it's inevitable that troublemakers will find their way in. They've been stealing stuff from the miners and picking fights. And that's not the worst of it. Things are much more serious this time. For two days now, huge clashes have been breaking out between the miners and the vagrants. It isn't pretty. Mines are our lifelines in the underworld. We have to keep providing Geomero to the overworld in exchange for supplies. In order to quell the situation, Chief Oleg brought wildfire into the mine and left me in charge of security for the towns. But the situation in the mine is critical. I have to back him up. Welcome back. Oh, as for you, the chief will decide your fate when we see him. Good. I've been wanting to come face to face with the leader of the underworld. <laughs> You're about to come face to face with reality.
Are you done running off yet? Just went to go turn on the light. So, that doesn't answer my question. Answer me. Hey, Ben. I do like um is um the crafting system here uh you can do like you can access from your uh like your inventory you don't have to go to uh like find a crafting table. Huh? Isn't that the doctor lady? What's Natasha doing here? Things must be worse than I thought. Nat! I didn't think you'd be here. Where's Oleg? Hey, Zila and Sampo's guests. So it looks like you've already met. I haven't seen Oleg. The miners said they saw him take a group further in. Miners and their family members. They want an explanation from the instigators. This area up ahead is a vagrant dwelling, but they've sealed off the entrance. I guess they're afraid that angry miners might try to take revenge. <sighs> I heard that many were injured in the clashes, so I hurried over here to see if I could help. How could this situation here become such a mess? I heard that first mining team found a geomarrow vein with incredible deposits. <laughs> the initial estimate put it at the largest discovery in the last 30 years. Are you serious? That's big news! How come I never heard about it? Well, they weren't in a hurry to make it known. <laughs> Most of the mines have been contaminated by the Fragmentum. Many people are out of work. They were afraid of being overwhelmed if they let the word out. But the vagrants here have keen eyes couldn't keep it hidden from them. Some local gangs wanted to profit from the situation, so they blackmailed the mining team for hush money. And that was the final straw. <sighs> I can understand your thinking. It's just that the underground is in difficult straits. And that's how the clash started. Now both sides are dealing with heavy losses. So, are you guys here to help resolve the conflict? They're here because they need a favor from Chief Oleg. I'm escorting them. And seeing as you need that helping hand, it wouldn't be too much to ask you to lend one here first, right? Of course we want to help. We care about other people too, you know. Oh, that's quite nice of you. <laughs> I believe we're dealing with kind-hearted people here, Zila. As you've all seen, the situation down here is, um, strained. If you can, we would really appreciate you helping the people.
Oh, look, we got artifacts now. Still there, Jax? Yep. I'm still here. What? I'm still here. giant ore vein, the one they discovered. That must be where the clashes are centered. Come on, let's get to higher ground and take a look. That person up ahead, is he a Let's head up and take a look. He might need help. Jax, you did. Yep. No, do dead people make noises Falling though? Asleep in a place yeah. like this. Impressive. Hey, wakey, wakey. You'll get mushrooms growing on your head. Hmm. What? Mushroom bread? I can't see it on the menu. Huh? Miss Sila! Have you got a death wish or something? How can you sleep here? Get back to safety and take shelter. Take shelter? I remember now. These guys came out of nowhere and got into a fight with the mining team. At the time, I was exhausted. I'd hardly run a few feet when one of them caught me. If it weren't for wildfire, they'd have stolen the clothes off my back. Uh, further in, I guess. Those thugs took control of the vein ages ago. And they're fully armed. We poor, defenseless, good folks were no match for them. It's only thanks to wildfire that the great mine hasn't fallen into their hands completely. It seems like Chief Oleg must be up ahead. Hurry up and get back to safety. Look for Nat. And try not to get into another scrap along the way. Okay. Thank you for, um, getting me on my feet. If I get back soon enough, I'll have time for a... For a nap. <sighs> Can't stop the rock. Oops. I recognize that woman. That's Elaine from First Might. Elaine, are you okay? Are you hurt? Uh, Zila, thank goodness. I I'm fine. Just a couple of sprains. <sighs> You've got good timing. Those vagrants were asking me about the robots, but I don't know anything. Oh, don't you know? The intersection of the Great Mine has been seized by a band of robots. Neither the mining team something? nor the vagrants can get anywhere near. Uh. Okay, I can hear you. The new time. challengers enter. About time. Human only conflicts are so boring. Does anyone know where the robots come from? At first, we thought that a collective fault had occurred in the excavation machines, but then we found out that those machines didn't even belong to the mining team. We're about to meet the they equivalent of, of Kaylee if Kaylee was in bursting back. with energy. Then they blocked off the only tunnels into the intersection. 
<laughs> There's no way anyone in the mining team is behind this. I guess the others just fade back into existence. Okay, enough, then. But a whole group? <laughs> Impossible. Then there's only one possibility. Boss Svarog. Svarog? That name sounds familiar. You remember the robots we defeated in the boxing gym? Oh, Boss Svarog's robots! What's his deal? Let's just say he's not to be trifled with. Let's go and find some other people. Elaine, can you make it back to safety? No problem. Zila and the rest of you, be careful. Robots aligned against humans? I've never heard of such a thing. Machines should obey humans. Is this elevator broken? Why isn't it re responding? Why are you worried about this piece of junk? Do you really want to go down there and be a live target for the robots? But if we evacuate, then haven't we lost out? <sighs> you idiots will just steal off the miners. Look, I saw with my own eyes. They managed to bag some Geomara. This is a perfect opportunity. Oh, uh, good idea. Shameless. Still after the miners, are you? Time to teach you a lesson. at the first sign of danger. That's all they're good for. Huh? What's this? Did those guys leave it behind? Whoa! whoa. What the heck? Beep, beep, beep! Searching for potential user. Beep, beep, beep! Voice print detected. Looking up corresponding identity information. Oh my, it's an alien! Hey, it talks! And it knows that we aren't from this planet? It doesn't seem to be technology from here. Look, it even has an International Peace Corporation logo on it. Perhaps it's an antiquity left behind by some past interstellar traveler. Beep, beep, beep. Your mom's an antiquity? Beep, beep, beep! Whatever, whatever. So you aliens know about the International Peace Corporation? That's great! Beep, beep, beep! Self-introduction. I am Richard, the home use object finder. Model information. Version 0.63. Professional model. Annual deluxe package. Nickname, Findy. A home use object finder? Who knew the IPC made these kinds of products? Beep, beep, beep. My brainwave scanner module is damaged. Please send me to an Inter-Astral Peace Appliances retail store near you for free repair within the warranty period of 232 years, 84 days. Beep, beep, beep. Alien, please take me to an Inter-Astral Peace Appliances retail store to conduct repairs. What? This spell is already broken. What should we do? Take it with us?
Dad, are you still there? Yeah. Beep, beep, beep! Yes, yes, yes! When you need to find something you can't see, just call upon Findy! That's me! Okay, stream, we're actually gonna hold off there for right now because I am, like, passing out. So, stream, I will be back in a bit. <laughs> 